how do you go about making sure that you've got something to eat when the shelves are looking a bit bare even if you live in the city. Now there appears to be global food issues happening. A lot of it is related to what's been happening in the last 18 months with a lack of labour and there's also trucking issues so there's a lot of truckies that just aren't around that used to be. China's imports of corn has gone from 6 million tonnes up to 25 million tonnes so they're obviously soaking up a lot of the spare food. Thanks to the gas prices going so high some of their production of fertiliser has dropped significantly so this will have an impact going forward with our food production as well. Brazil was hit with some really unseasonal frosts and it has taken out a large portion of their corn, sugar and their coffee production. I mean obviously getting scared about things is not helpful. I'm not here to scaremonger anything. I'm here to encourage you to think ahead and think of some options that you can do just to prepare yourself just in case. It is not about being scared, it is about being prepared. Even if you're living in the city, you do have some options. Even if you are in a tiny little apartment with no outside space there are options for you as well if you do have some outside lawn this might be the time to look at ripping it up and turning it into a garden you can't eat grass well you probably could but I don't recommend it it's probably gross if you do have a patio now is a great time to start a container garden I have a video all about getting free containers so you can check that out up the top if you don't have any land at all maybe look at putting in a green stalk or a wall garden something that you can be growing even inside under some lights you can grow a lot of vegetables and pots on your windowsills as well just make sure you protect your windowsills by putting down some trays or even a layer of plastic and mop up any water you manage to spill straight away so you're not going to rot out your windowsills while you're at it now's a really good time to get creative on where you're sourcing your food it might be that your shelves don't have so much of whatever type of food you're looking for or maybe your supermarket has a restriction on certain foods this is a good time to get yourself into a food co-op or get yourself an account with a catering supply company often if you can buy things in bulk there's a lot more available than what there would be if you're trying to buy them in small bags like everybody else is. Now is definitely the time to look for specials and buy up large. Get yourself a storage space and stash away things as much as you can. If you can, get yourself a freezer so you can start storing away things as they come on special and also learn to can. It may be that you can get a half a beast, even just a really large haul of end of line vegetables, all sorts of things. And if you have some way of preserving them, they're not going to go to waste. Buy your staples in bulk. So buy yourself wheat, beans, rice, flour, all those big staple items, sugar, salt, especially salt, because salt will preserve all sorts of things. Do you have any tips or tricks on growing food or getting food when you're living in the city? Let me know about them in the comments below. I'd love to hear your ideas. Learn to cook from scratch because there is no point in getting all of this food if you don't know how to use it. Start with some really basic meals and learn to cook them. Now is also a really good time to make connections in your community. Meet the farmers that are growing the food. Go to your local farmers markets, maybe even join a CSA where you're getting food straight from the farmer. In times where the food is tight or even if there's heaps of food but transport's a real issue going straight to the farmer is a great way to make sure that you're still getting some if the supply chain for whatever reason happens to stop working supermarkets will be out of food within three days but the food's still being produced in most cases and it's definitely still being grown so if you can access that food straight from where it's being grown all the better now if you actually want to take this to the next level you can do something that will take a lot of time and it takes a bit of investment but I honestly think it's well worth it and that is to get yourself a plot of land. If you live right in the middle of the city there's no reason why you can't go to a farmer and ask to hire some land off them. You'll be surprised at how much cheaper land is to hire out there than it is in the city. An acre of land would be plenty for four or five families to put in on together and grow pretty much all of their vegetable requirements so this is an option if you've got some like-minded friends or even to advertise and find some like-minded people and make new friends go to a farmer hire some land try and make sure it's relatively flat and it has some kind of water that you can use and then you might want to invest in some caterpillar tunnels these are a really quick and easy option they're kind of like a tunnel house but they're done much more quickly and you can take them down at the end of the season and in there you can grow your tomatoes and your peppers and any hot weather things and then over the winter in there you can grow keep growing greens all winter long and on your one acre you probably want to be focusing on quick vegetables that are expensive to buy so your salad greens and those 
uh, fast turnover sort of plants and then the other half you want to focus more on your high calorie option pumpkins potatoes carrots parsnips beans peas sweet potato and your brassicas as well i think ultimately my trick is to try and make your money go as far as possible because the further it goes if the prices go up with the food that we have then you're going to be able to just keep affording it every little dollar you don't spend on something else you can put towards food if you need it this might be a great time to look at getting a side job or starting a side hustle or starting an online business something that you can be earning those extra dollars so i hope you found this video helpful remember this is not about being scared it's about being prepared get some food security sorted for your family you won't regret it